What's going on you guys, Brandon here and I am back with another video. In front of us we're taking a look at the XM Studios, Shazam, and Black Adam from DC Rebirth. These figures are incredible. The sculpt work and the detail is amazing. If you're a DC fan, a Rebirth fan, a Shazam fan, a Jeff Johns fan, these are absolutely incredible and amazing pieces you're going to want to have in your collection. It looks like they have both jumped off of the pages. Um, I just, I can't believe it. These are, these are pretty incredible. Black Adam for me is a replacement. Shazam is brand new. Black Adam was, if you've been following my channel, I've done a couple videos on him now. He was a nightmare. Um, thankfully, the replacement was great. The cape fit was fantastic. And there's, there's nothing wrong with him. Shazam, unfortunately, I did have a hard time with. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Uh, his cape was extremely difficult to put on. And uh, it's all completely different from Black Adam's sculpt, surprisingly. Different cape, different setup, different everything. These are the extra pieces that come with Shazam. We also get a really nice card. This looks really sweet. I really do like that a lot. It says limited edition down there. It says XM, DC, Justice League, WB. Not for sale. Interesting. That's funny. All right. Pretty sweet. It does say Rebirth Series. For me, this is always going to be the New 52 setup. Um, that is when we were first introduced to this costume. Here's Black Adam's alternate head sculpt, and that also looks really, really nice. That'll focus in there. Looks fantastic. And here is his alternate hood. Um, unfortunately, with these guys, you have to take the entire cape off in order to um, change the head. And I really don't want to do that, especially for Shazam. You should also note that from the side, Shazam is a, an extremely large piece. He may not even fit in my cabinet, you guys. That's how massive this guy is and how massive his cape is. He costs more on shipping and his box was bigger because of the cape. That is how big this guy is. But you can see here, I have unfortunately a gap between the collar and the cape. And I just was unable to push the cape in all the way into his back. That's where it attaches. Overall, these guys are really, really nice. Really happy to have them. Um, again, I don't know what I'm gonna do with Shazam. Um, such a gripe, they're such expensive pieces. And uh, you wanna make sure you definitely get your money's worth, but man, Destroying a replacement is a nightmare. So anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment below. What you think about Shazam. If you think, see I got a little gap right there between the collar and the cape or the hood and the cape. The back, it's not too noticeable. But then again, from the side, that's pretty noticeable. So anyways, let me know your thoughts about that in the comments below. Shazam's chest emblem does light up. You can see the difference here. Black Adam's emblem is off. Shazam's is on. That is a very nice touch. A really, really cool feature. That light up chest emblem is pretty sick. Uh, unlike Black Adam, there is a piece of lightning that does come off of the emblem and it wraps around his hand. That is not removable and you cannot swap it out with Black Adam. So your Shazam statue does have lightning that comes off of his chest and uh, that is not debatable or something that you can remove. And it only lights up here at the chest as another lightning piece you can attach to the base as well. But all in all, that looks really sweet. And here's Black Adam's chest emblem lit up. Again, you can tell the difference. Shazam's emblem is off and you can see just how good that looks. Absolutely sick. I really do like that a lot. I think I can admire that emblem a lot more without a piece of lightning coming off it. You know, there's there's things that I like and I don't like about each. Um, I kind of don't like the lightning on Black Adam's wrist. Or I wish, you know, you could take that on and off. And I do like his emblem more than Shazam's. But all in all, very, very nice pieces. Ones that I'm really happy to have and to be able to add to the collection. Unfortunately, I don't have any of my other Shazam statues nearby, but for a size comparison, here's our new XM Studio Shazam with some other Shazam merch, previous figures and releases, including our new Mego Shazams, 
the tall one and the small one. I think these fit in really, really well together. XM has knocked it out of the park. If you're a Shazam fan, this statue will fit in with your collection very well, very nicely. An awesome piece. And if you're a Black Adam fan, the new XM Studio statue does fit in very well with his previous counterparts. And we have the new Mego Black Adam here as well. I got to say, you guys, again, XM absolutely crushed it. The only thing that I think they missed is the triangle emblem that is supposed to be on his belt. It's a circle reuse sculpt from Shazam. McFarlane got it right, and a couple others have in the past as well. That is supposed to be a triangle and uh, his symbol of the pyramids, Egypt, call back to Black Rain, and all of that. Um, so unfortunately, we are missing that. But aside from that detail, this is definitely an awesome piece, and he fits in very well. All right, you guys, that about does it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, the XM Studios DC Rebirth, Shazam, and Black Adam. Awesome pieces, and I'm so excited to have these in the collection. I didn't even notice that Sphinx or Pharaoh over there on the Shazam base. Pretty cool. And, of course, we have the Anubis over there on Black Adam. But, man, these guys look awesome, especially when you pose them as if they're flying towards each other. They're about to clash. They look really, really good, and each piece complements the other very well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I know usually it's basic figures that I review here, but once in a while you got to go all in for a couple of favorite characters and for Shazam and Black Adam. That's what I do. These statues are awesome pieces and I absolutely love them. You guys keep it right here at my channel as I find more new cool and awesome stuff. I'll be sure to bring it to you right here. Once again, I'm Brandon. Thanks for watching.